Welcome back to the 628 Dirt Rooster channel where hobby beekeeping is a way of life. Let's talk about one of my favorite beekeeping tools right now. Old girl's getting a little long in the tooth. I'm having to start taping up the bellows. The side of it's cracking a little bit. The uh, can is fine and they do make a replacement bellows. But this one is getting to where it's not... Uh, she got emphysema. That's the best way I know how to put it. Not pumping real good anymore. So, <laughs> guess what I bought? I thought they sent me a extra something with it. Box in a box. Look at the shine. Look at the sparkle when I pop the bottom of that box. I hate to get that dirty. Listen to the sound. Listen to the difference in how they breathe. Big difference. I gotta add my finishing touch and it should be ready to go to work. That completes the install of one high performance outdoor vinyl decal. Let me give you a quick look at these two smokers. I know some of you are gonna wanna know where I got it. These are two identical smokers. Both of them from the same dealer, same manufacturer. This one is probably six or seven, maybe maybe even eight or nine years old. I don't know, I can't remember when I got it. But it stays outdoors at all times. It stays in the bed of my truck or in the bee yard or something. And, and it's held up really, really well. It is probably the most expensive smoker you're gonna find unless you get overcharged somewhere. I got the same identical smoker. It doesn't look like they've made any design changes to it. I expect the same performance in life out of this one. Uh, I'll probably get a bellows for this one as well because there's nothing wrong with a can on it. I haven't priced bellows, but got this from Daydant. Uh, my opinion, they have the best smoker. You get, uh, get your money's worth. If you buy one of those little half half pint $24 smokers or whatever from Amazon, it's not gonna last you very long. A lot of them, even I've seen a lot of them where the uh, bellows burst into flames. I don't know how they did it, but I know two people I know personally burnt their bellows up on their cheap smokers. Never have had a problem with any of these. This is the kind I use, my dad, my brother, and they last for a long time. They're very durable. And no, that's not a paid endorsement. I did buy that smoker myself at full price with my own money. Thank you very much. If you didn't see my last video, I took the opportunity to make fun of Mr. Ed, Jeff Horchoff, for trapping swarms and saying he's catching swarms. So I say there's a difference. They both yield the same result. You, you go home with bees either way, but trapping and catching, in my opinion, is two different things. So let me read you his reply from that video from the book of Ed chapter 1 verse what the heck are you talking about his uh, reply reads desperate times require desperate measures and my friend this video is but proof of your desperation because of the sound thrashing I delivered to you last year oh. <laughs> Second, you must really have something on Yappy or threaten to do something to him, his bees, or his family for him to agree to participate in this sham of you trying to tarnish my reputation. Yappy's yet another great beekeeper, wrangler, YouTube personality, and all around good guy who would never stoop to disparage another human's good name. Now, if this was Okie Rob, I could understand. Anyway, brother. At least you'll put up a challenge for me this year instead of rolling over like you did last year. 
God's peace, Mr. Ed. Mr. Ed, in reply, I'd simply like to say... Thank you. Where we're going to look at? <coughs> Behind the lady's yard. She wants somebody to inspect it. So she calls in the pros. <laughs> <laughs> Got the dog tied down there by it. <laughs> that bad that you have to have tied down high to the ground? No, we just did that during that one storm. <laughs> Five years or so, I won't do none of that stuff. But we have them just, you know. Oh, you want? A couple years, you do it all. Yeah, anything to prevent problems. You doing all right? Doing good. Good. Got in her cover. That's my feeder in there. It ain't no bees in there. Okay. okay. We do that. We just like to smoke the feeders. <laughs> no. Look at that. Look at that. Shoulder's not going to pull that. Yeah, we well, got. Hey, that was my issue. I thought we had too much to eat. They were no, completely full. It's a strong hive. It is a strong hive. You ain't got nothing to worry about. He's off of me. I'm gonna get my little veil. Y'all would never guess it, but we're out here in the drizzling rain <laughs> with some pretty cool temperatures. Yeah. I don't know, I guess it ain't too bad. What's it about? Oh, 59. 59? Top box is honey bound. That's what I thought. Yeah. Is it honey bound or stinger bound? Yeah, both. <laughs> I got to back up to get me. 
Queen Leia and his brood right here. Where they at? I don't know who's been wearing this one, but the neck holes wore out on it. Oh, I don't know. It's three, should be three or four more laying on the seat. Sorry, you got holes in yours. Yep, I know. So they can fly in and out. Does it matter where I put these? Mm-mm, it -mm, doesn't. Let's see what I say. Let's put that one. Put this one on the inside. It doesn't matter. I'll put that one on the outside. And they'll finish filling it up. We'll put that one on the outside. Yeah, you got plenty of honey. You got a queen in there laying, so she's doing just what you want her to do. Let's close these dudes back up. What far? <laughs> you ain't been stung they getting yet. a little bit stirred up. Yeah, they got me a couple of times on the hand. Oh, okay. I just got one between the eyes. Not too bad. They're not getting my arms, thankfully. <laughs> They just didn't want to be bothering this weather. <laughs> yeah. That's probably all it is. That's all it is. Because they sat down just since the close box back up. Yeah. They were all over me till she should put the lid on and they quit. <laughs> just as strong as that. Yeah, it does. These guys have been strong ever since last year. But the, they took a while, so. It's not full like the other one. That side. Yeah, just turn that around. They're good at any Skip's place where you put that. Is it? Yeah. Mm -hmm. It did stink at the end of the year. Yeah, it does. <laughs> no, like a pig bin. I heard one beekeeper describe it. <laughs> Just scoot them out and pull this one. This. There's brood right there. Yeah. Yep, that one's the whole center section full of brood. Mm -hmm. the next oh, I one. see some right there. Yep, too. second one too. So yep. let's close so, it back okay. up and Good. Scoot those back over. Put your uh, uh, empty in there between it. If you're gonna. That one. This strong when I open them up finally. <laughs> Wiggle it back and forth. <laughs> <laughs> Wave your hands out there and show us one more time. Yeah, no. 
get there, stop right there and pry it over. Pry it towards you. Put it towards you. There you go. So if it's up here, are you assuming it's the same as the Yeah. Or you think it's no. It's, no, it's not my finger. I always get stung right under my watch. <laughs> they got mine too. All the time. They don't drown okay. in that because they uh -huh. it's like a bunt pan right. and there's a cup in there uh -huh. that yeah. closes them. They get up in the cup to eat, but they don't you can't get really down in the water. And in the off season you can use it for your jello molds. There you uh -huh. go. <laughs> a wax mold. <laughs> Pretty strong hives. Yeah, they were. <laughs> they came out to show us how strong they were. <laughs> and they did. <laughs> yeah. I only got I got that one between the eyes. One on each wrist. Other than that, they were just buzzing my head telling me to go away. Well they got my hands and they found a hole in my veil. <laughs> so they Tag my ear. <laughs> That's all the beekeeping we get to do for today. Now we can go down to the beach, enjoy the cold and the rain, and see a sunset. Yeah, have fun. 